Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'm talking about Atom, a post-nuclear RPG. I just found out about this a couple of days ago. One of my friends told me about it, and then I was on YouTube, and one of my other friends, Colonel RPG, did a let's play of the demo. So I will leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. Now, Atom is a CRPG, and if you check the green light page, they tell you that some of their influences are Fallout, System Shock, Deus Ex, Baldur's Gate, and many others. I'm going to read some more information about the game. In 1986, both the Soviet Union and the Western Bloc were destroyed in mutual nuclear bombings. You are one of the survivors of the nuclear holocaust. Your mission? To explore the wild and wondrous world of the Soviet wasteland. To earn your place under the sun and to investigate a shadowy conspiracy aimed at destroying all that is left of life on Earth. Now, if you play the demo or look at the footage, you can see that Fallout is one of this game's biggest influences. In fact, the role-playing system in this game is inspired by GURPS. For those of you who don't know what GURPS is, GURPS is the generic universal role-playing system. It is a tabletop role-playing system, and it was supposed to be the system used in Fallout, but something happened and they had to make their own system, and we know that as special. Okay, enough about Fallout, let's get back to Atom. Let's hear a little bit more about the story. The deterioration in relations between Eastern and Western blocks in 1979 have led to a full-blown Armageddon between nuclear powers in the year 1986. The war was swift, devastating, and brutal. The fact that humanity preserved was miraculous. 19 years have passed, and it's 2005. Both once great empires and their allies now lie in ruins. But on top of those ruins, new civilizations are slowly emerging. This story takes place on a small patch of land in the south part of the USSR. This territory wasn't impacted by nuclear blasts as much as the more industrial parts of the country. It was mostly agricultural and didn't have a lot of army bases or nuclear shafts. But still, this place was also scarred. Even though it has some sort of centralized government, established trade routes, and even its very own TV channel, the land is plagued by famine, diseases, banditry, radiation, and the rumor has it that some horribly mutated monsters are also roaming the waste. You are a young member of a secret bunker society, Atom, established back in the USSR. The main mission of your organization is to find, restore, and secretly introduce old and new technologies to survivors, ultimately restoring the pre-war way of life. This is why Atom sends expeditions to the wastelands, and recently one of such expeditions, led by a prominent Atom member, General Morozov, stopped contacting the main base. Human resources are tight, so the standard procedure in such situations is to send one or three younger operatives to conduct investigation. This time, you were chosen to fulfill this task. You know that General Morozov and his party went to explore a mysterious pre-war bunker, Bunker 317. What you don't know is the exact location of this place. Only that it's near a certain village called Otrano. After a few days of wandering, you start to notice signs of inhabitants, a small field, a pasture, and finally a makeshift wooden sign with bullet holes in it. The name Otrano on it shows that you are on the right track. It's already nighttime when you find yourself at the entrance of a small, shabby village. Here you can restock your supplies, earn a couple of rubles, and most importantly, learn where to find Bunker 317. Alright, that's how Atom starts off. That was a more detailed explanation of the story. As you can tell, I can't pronounce Russian words very well, so I butchered some of those words. So if any of my viewers are Russian, it probably sounded really goofy. Now, I did enjoy the demo. This game does impress me. 
What I like about this game is right from the beginning, and it's just a demo, they show you that they're trying their best to be a CRPG. And this game, it definitely shows that Fallout influenced it. It's not trying to be a ripoff of Fallout, it's just influence and trying to tell its own story. Right from the beginning, when you play the demo, you'll see that there are skill checks. There were plenty of skill checks in this demo, and that's a good thing. If you pay attention to the dialogue, you notice that skills like barter influence the conversation, and your personality can influence the conversation too. What I also liked is the combat system. This game is turn-based, just like Fallout. You have different turns, and you could do whatever you want, attack, run away, equip a gun, whatever, and then your enemy takes their turn. And when you're on the world map, it also reminds me of Fallout, except you're just not some little dot traveling across the world. Your character is actually walking and you see them, and you get random encounters, like you can have bandits attack you, or you have a caravan and you can stop and trade. But when you walk around and you notice a city, you just walk to it and you enter it. Some of the areas in the demo are not finished, so you can't explore them, but but I did see a bunker and that looked pretty cool and there was another town that I couldn't go in because it wasn't finished but you see some of it so overall I am impressed by this game just to let you know it is a demo and this game is not finished so what you see is not the final product they have a lot more work to do with this game now I do have some feedback for the developers add more skills and with the areas in the game I do like what I see so far, especially the bunker, but try to give us those memorable areas, like the glow in Fallout 1. Try to do something like that. Not like the glow, but something that will make us remember it 10 years or 15 years from now. Be as creative as you can. It is a post-apocalyptic CRPG. I know you have a lot of ideas. Let's see them. Thank you for watching this video. I will leave links in the description. Definitely check out Colonel RPG's Let's Play of the demo and check out their green light page so you can let Steam know that you're interested in Atom. Have a great day.